안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 어, 이스라엘 나라에는 유대 지방이 있고 In Israel there is the area of Judea. 이스라엘 나라 남쪽에 유대란 지역이 있습니다. And so there is the southern area of Israel which is Judah. 중간쯤에는 사마리아가 있고 And around the middle there is Samaria. 제 위쪽에는 갈릴리가 있습니다. And in the upper part is Galilee. 갈릴리란 말은 그 갈릴리 그 연못 호수인데 그, 그 당시 바다라 그러지 큰 바다 그 갈리 바다 중심으로 있는 도시들 갈릴리라고 합니다. And so the city is centered around the Lake of Galilee. It's called the Sea of Galilee. That region is called Galilee. 예수님께서 보리떡 따서 그 오천 명을 먹이셔 티베리아라는 곳입니다. The place where Jesus fed 5,000 with five barley loaves is called Tiberias. 예, 네, 티베리아는 갈릴리 호수 약간 길쭈, 조금 길쭈가 둔 건데. And so the Sea of Galilee is a little long and round. 서쪽 중간 쪽에 있는 도시입니다. And so Tiberias is in the middle section towards the west. 그리고 이제 그, 그 갈릴리 바다를 따서 올라 북쪽 위에 가브나움이라는 곳이 있는데. And then if you follow along the Sea of Galilee, in the upper area is called Capernaum. 예수님께서 보리떡 다섯 개로 오천 명을 먹이신 뒤에. After Jesus fed the five thousand with five barley loaves. 예수님은 배를 안타 제자들만 배를 타고. 이제 그 가브나움으로 갔습니다. Jesus did not ride the boat. Only the disciples got on the boat and went to Capernaum. 네, 파도, 파도가 많이 쳤습니다. And there was a big storm. 네, 밤이 되었습니다. And it became nighttime. 노를 저어 가는데 They were rowing. 저쪽 예수님이 바다 위를 걸어 오셨습니다. But from the other side, they saw Jesus walking on the sea. 제자들이 보고 깜짝 놀랐습니다. The disciples saw it were shocked. 어떤 사람이 밤에 막 바다를 걸어 유령인 줄 알았어요. At night, they saw a person walking on the sea. They thought it was a ghost. 예수님, 조용해라 내가 나다고 하면서 Jesus said be still it is I. 예수 배에 올라 타셨어요. And Jesus got on the boat. 그래서 그들은 이제 밤중에 이제 그 가버나움으로 온 겁니다. And then in the middle of the night they arrived in Capernaum. 어제 떡을 얻어 먹었던 많은 사람들이 The day before the many people who had eaten the 그 bread 예수님을 만나서 또 떡을 얻어 먹고 싶은 마음이 예수님을 찾았습니다. They wanted to meet Jesus again and be able to eat bread again and they came looking for Jesus. 그 출발할 때 배에 제자들만 갔기 때문에. Uh, but when the boat took off from Tiberias, it was only the disciples on the boat. 예수 디베리아에 있는 줄 알았습니다. So they thought Jesus was still at Tiberias. 아무리 차 디베리아 없으니까. But no matter how much they looked, Jesus was not there. 그 사람들이 이제 가버나움에 와 보니까. And then when those people came to Capernaum. 예수 가버나움에 오셨습니다. Jesus was at Capernaum. 여기 성경에 뭐라고 기록되어 있느냐 하면. And here what the Bible says is. 마 요한복음 5장. In John chapter 6, verse 22. 이튿날 바다 건너편에 있는 무리가 배한 척밖에 다른 배가 없는 것과 또 예수께서 어제 제자와 같이 배에 오르지 아니함을 보고 제자를 가는 것을 제자들만 가는 걸 보았더라. The day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there save the one whereunto his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone away alone. 그러나 디베라에서 배들이 주의 축사하시며 열의 떡 먹던 곳에 가까이 왔더라. Howbeit there came other boats from Tiberias nigh unto the place where they did eat bread after that the Lord had given thanks. 무려 그 예수도 없으시고 제자 없음을 보고 배를 타고 예수를 찾아 가버나움으로 가서 When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there neither his disciples they also took shipping and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. 바다 건너편에서 만나 라비어 어느 때 여기 오셨나이까 하니 And when they had found him on the other side of the sea they said unto him Rabbi when when came his style hither? Jesus gave a way to say, "Nega, 진실로 진도이기노니 너희가 나를 찾는 것 표적을 본 까닭에는 떡을 먹고 배부른 까닭이로다." Jesus answered them, said, "Verily, verily, I say unto you, you seek me not because you saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled." 썩는 양식을 위하여 일하지 말고 영생하도록 있는 양식을 위하여 하라. 이 양식은 인자가 너희 기준 인자는 아버지 하나님의 인신자니라. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father a sealed. 저희가 무엇을 우리가 어떻게 하여 하나님 일을 하오리까? Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? 예수의 대답에 가라사네 하나님 보낸 자는 믿는 것이 하나님의 일이니라. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. 그리고 이제 삼십오 절에 보면은. And then if you look in verse thirty. 
35. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Jesus said that he is the bread of life. Eat my flesh, drink my blood. That is talking about accepting Jesus into your heart. Jesus was crucified. Why? To forgive our sins. And when Jesus was crucified, did he forgive our sins or not? In my eyes, it looks like I have sins. I have committed theft, I have lied, I remember the memories of sins that I've committed. Therefore, I think that my sins remain. But those are my own thoughts. But what do the words of the Bible say? Isaiah 53 says he was bruised for our iniquities and he was uh, he was chastised for our sins. The chastisement of our peace are upon him and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, everyone has turned to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. God has placed all of our sins upon Jesus. And our sins were laid upon Jesus. And when he was crucified, the judgment of all of our sins ended there. And when Jesus was crucified, he received the punishment for the sins of all people. What was his final words when he died on the cross? He said, it is finished. He finished what? Jesus who had come to forgive our sins through being crucified on the cross he's saying all of our sins have been forgiven it is finished and so even though Jesus died on the cross people don't know that their sins are forgiven but as Jesus came for our sins and carried the cross he did not leave any sins behind. All of our sins were placed upon Jesus and because Jesus was punished for all of our sins, the Bible says our sins have been forgiven. How amazing this is. But everyone, the important thing is in our hearts, it feels as if our sins remain. You have memories of your sins you committed, and you feel shame, and you feel guilty in your conscience. So we feel as if we still have sins. But those feelings are not true. The precise thing is we must hear the words of Jesus. I say this often in Romans chapter 4, verse 25. Jesus who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. Especially when we read the Bible. The Bible clearly tells us that we have been washed clean by Jesus. And that is precisely recorded in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11, it says this. But Christ, being come in high priest of good things to come, 
손으로 짓지 않은 곳, 이 창조성은 더 크고 온전한 장막. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. 어, 지구 위에, 참, 이 세, 우주에 성전이 두 개가 있는데. There are two temples. 보통 사람들은 예배당을 가서 거룩한 성전이라고 말하는데. A lot of people call their churches chapels the holy temple. 성전에서는 말하는 성전은 유일하게. 하늘나라의 하나, 땅의 하나 있습니다. But the only temples the Bible speaks of are the temple in heaven and one temple on earth. 원래 하늘나라에 성전이 있었는데 There was the original temple which is the one in heaven. 성전이 없었습니다. And there was no temple on earth. 하나님이 모세를 시내산 꼭대기에 불러가지고 But God called Moses up to Mount Sinai. 40일 동안 하늘나라 성전을 다 보여줬습니다. And for 40 days God showed Moses the temple in heaven. 내가 산에 너에게 보인 준 그대로 가서 성, 성전을 지어라. And exactly as I have shown you from the mount to build that same temple on earth. But back then they were in the middle of their journey in the wilderness. Even though he did build it in the same image, he built it as a tent. Because they need to be on the move. But when they settled in Jerusalem, they were able to build the temple of Jerusalem. And there they they would kill lambs and goats to give offerings. 그그 and when they gave the offerings, their sins were washed away. 1절에, but in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11, Christ being come in high priest of good things to come, 손으로 짓지 않곧 이 창조 속과 더 온전한 장막, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. 성전이 두개 있는데, there are two temples. 하늘나라에 사람의 손으로 짓지 않았습니다. The one in heaven was not made by the hands of man. 이 땅에 있는 것은, the one on earth. 모세가 40일 동안 하늘나라에 있는 Moses on Mount Sinai saw the temple in heaven for 40 days as a vision. And God told him, as you have seen on the mount, build exactly the same. But exactly as the same as the temple in heaven, they built the temple. And it was called the tabernacle. Because it was made out of tent and they were always on the moon. They had the altar. They had the water pot. They had the bread table. 저 뭐야 향단이 있고. And they had the altar of incense. 그 다음에 그 이제 법궤가 있고. They had the ark of the covenant. 똑같이 그렇게 지었습니다. And he built it exactly the same. 그래서 거기다가 이제 죄를 지을 때. And there, when people would commit sins. 양이나 염소가 오는데, they would have to bring lambs or goats. And when they do the laying out of hands on the head of the lamb or the goat, and in Leviticus 16, verse 21 tells us that when you do the laying on the hand of the lamb or the goat, the sin is placed on the goat. And once the sin is placed on the goat, and you kill the lamb and it sheds its blood, the sin is forgiven and that is the sin offering. The offerings of the lambs, this was an image of Jesus who is to come to forgive our sins. And for Jesus to receive all the sins of mankind, he receives the laying on of hands on his head from John the Baptist at River Jordan. When Jesus asks John to baptize him, and when Jesus asks John to baptize him, John refused, I cannot. I have need to be baptized of thee and comest thou to me. But Jesus said, Suffer it to be so now. For thus becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. So for all of our sins to be placed upon Jesus, John the Baptist did the laying on of hands on the head of Jesus. Right then the Holy Spirit of God like a dove came unto him, and the voice of God was heard. This is my beloved Son in whom I am all pleased. And the next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Right then the sins of the world were placed 
placed on Jesus. And when Jesus carried the sins of the whole world and when he was crucified, all of our sins were taken care of at the cross. You know, people know that Jesus died on the cross for their sins. And Jesus died on the cross to forgive your sins. But if you say that you're a sinner, then you're ultimately saying Jesus failed. In our eyes, it looks like you're a sinner. But through Jesus dying on the cross, God says that we are righteous. He says all of our sins have been washed. He says that we have been sanctified. There are many thoughts and many hearts that arise within us. And when we look at our hearts closely, there is the path that we go. And there are temptations that pull our hearts to a certain way. It's because we don't know. It is the temptation of the evil spirit that pulls us that way. But it's about accepting the words of Jesus into your heart. Surely I'm a sinner. I've committed theft. I've lied. And I committed many sins. That's right, I'm a sinner. Yeah, I'm a sinner. I am a sinner. But all of our sins were placed upon Jesus. And all the punishment of our sins, he received them at the cross and washed away all our sins. Everyone, I read the Bible very much. Whenever I read such words in the Bible, it made my heart pound. Let us look at Hebrews chapter 9, verse 12. 염소와 송아지 필요하니 하고 Neither by the blood of goats and calves. 부약시대는 양이나 염소나 송아지 잡아 죄를 사했어요. In the Old Testament, they killed lambs and goats and calves to forgive sins. 양이 죽음으로 죄를 사하고 염소가 죽어 죄를 사하는 것은 Forgiving sins through the death of a lamb or death of a goat 예수 그때의 그림자입니다. Were foreshadows of Jesus Christ. 예수님은 하나님의 어린 양으로 오신 것 그림자입니다. It was a foreshadow of Jesus coming as the Lamb of God. 부약시대는 양이 와서 우리를 모든 죄에서 대신 in the Old Testament, it is the lamb that receives all the punishment instead of you. However, to achieve eternal redemption, neither by the blood of goats and calves, and that's what Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12 is telling us, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, by the blood of his own Jesus Christ. And then what does it say? Entered him once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Eternal redemption for us. For Jesus to forgive all of our sins. He died just once on the cross. And that once he forgave the sins of all people of the world. We have our own thoughts. And then there's the words of the Bible. In our eyes, it looks and feels like we're sinners. And we go asking our sins to be forgiven. But what does the word of God say? It says that Jesus forgave and washed away all our sins. Let's look at the next chapter, Hebrews chapter 10. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 10. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ 
once for all. 예, 우리가 우리 모든 죄를 사기 위해서 for us to forgive all of our sins. 우리가 착한 일을 했거나 기도했거나 회개했거나 우리가 뭘 해서가 아니고 It's not by our good deeds, our prayers or us repenting. It's not about us. 하나님의 어린 양된 예수님이 십자에 못 박히심으로 말미암아 우리가 거룩함을 얻었더라. But through the lamb of God, Jesus Christ being crucified, we have been sanctified. 히브리 10장 11절에 In Hebrews chapter 10 verse 11. 구약 시대 속죄 제사를 드는 그 제사를 얘기하는데 It's talking about the sin offerings of the Old Testament. 제사장마다 매일 서서생님에 자주 갔던 제사 이 제사 언제든 죄를 없게 하지 못. And every priest and the daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. 이 세상은 시간계이기 때문에 This world is the realm of time. 죄를 사도 시간이 지나 또 죄를 짓고 또 죄를 짓고 왔어. Even though you get your sins forgiven when time passes you sin again, you sin again and you sin again. 시간계에선 영원한 일을 할 수가 없습니다. In the realm of time things cannot be eternal. 그래서 예수님은 우리 죄로 인해 십자에 못 박히 죽으시고 Therefore Jesus died on the cross for our sins. 그 피로가 이 땅에 있는 재단에 피를 뿌린 게 아니고 And with his blood he did not sprinkle it at the altar on earth. 하늘나라에 있는 재단에 피를 뿌렸습니다. But he sprinkled his blood at the altar which is in heaven. 왜요? Why? 이 땅은 시간의 한계가 돼 있고 시간이 자꾸 가는데 흐르는데 The earth is under the limits of time and the time is continuously passing. 하늘나라 한 번이 영원하기 때문에 However in heaven everything is eternal. 예수님은 하늘나라 재단 피를 뿌려 우리 죄를 영원히 사했다. Jesus sprinkled his blood at the altar in heaven and forgave our sins eternally. 자, 14절 말씀 히브리 10장 14절. Let us look at Hebrews chapter 10 verse 14. 뭐라고 말합니까? What does it say? 제가 한 제물로 거룩하게 된 자들을 영원히 온전케 했다. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. 영원히 우리 죄를 그 피로 사하신 것입니다. Forever he has forgiven our sins with his blood. 우리가 죄를 지을 때마다 십자에 못 박혀 죽으시는 게 아니고. Jesus does not have to be crucified every single time we sin. 우리 잘못할 때마다 그때 죄를 씻어 주는 것이 아니라. He does not wash away our sins every time we do wrong. 단한번 영원한 속죄를 얻다. But once and for all he obtained eternal redemption. 저는 그 사실을 믿었습니다. And that's the truth I believe. 그내 생각엔 죄인인데. So in my thoughts I'm a sinner. 성경 말 나를 영원히 온전케 했다. But the words of the Bible says I have been perfected forever. 내가 보면 널 죄인이라고 보이는데. In my eyes I always look like a sinner. 내가 내 생각을 믿을 거냐? 하나님 말씀을 믿을 거냐? So will I believe my thoughts or believe the word of God? 물론 하나님 말씀을 믿어야 합니다. Of course I should believe the word of God. 내 생각은 정확치 않습니다. My thoughts are not true. 나는 죄인인 것처럼 보이지만 It looks like I'm a sinner in my eyes. 하나님의 말씀이 But the word of God. 내 죄가 사해졌다고 말합니다. The word of God says that my sins are forgiven. 14절에 Therefore in verse 14. 한 제물로 거룩하게 된지 영원히 온전케 했다고 말합니다. It says for by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. 그다음에 17절에 보면은 And then in verse 17. 뭐라고 말합니까? What does it say? 저희 죄와 저희 불법은 내가 다시 기억지 아니하리라 하셨어. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. 8절에 in verse 18 이것을 사하셨은즉 다시 죄를 위하여 제사 드릴 것이 없느니라. Now where remission of these is there is no more offering for sin. 19절에 in verse 19 그러므로 형제들아 having therefore brethren 우리가 예수의 피를 힘입어 성소에 들어갈 담력을 얻는 Boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Even though I'm a sinner. Because the blood Jesus shed on the cross forgave my sin. When he looks at the blood, he says, you are holy. You are righteous. And my sins are forgiven forever. Therefore, a new path to come forth to Jesus has been opened. We have boldness. 여러분 내가 죄를 안 지어 그런 게 아닙니다. It is not because I did not sin. 내가 착하게 산게 아닙니다. It is not because I was good. 죄를 많이 지었습니다. I committed lots of sins. 악을 행했습니다. I've done evil. 어떤 죄든지. No matter what sin it may be. 예수의 십자가는 나를 눈보다 더 희게 씻습니다. The cross of Jesus washed me whiter than the snow. 할렐루야. 할렐루야. 주님을 찬양합니다. I praise the Lord. 하나님 아버지 앞에. I give thanks and glory to Father God. 그날 예수님의 말씀이 들어와서 That day the words of Jesus entered in. 내 생각 속에 죄인이라는 생각을 이겨버렸습니다. And it defeated my thoughts which said that I was a sinner. 피 흘린 그 예수님의 
that Jesus who shed his blood, his words entered me and said, I am justified and said, I am sanctified and said that I am washed. I believe God. And the word of God says my sins are cleansed. And God said I am righteous. God says he remembers my sins no more. He says they are all forgiven. And to believe in God is none other. It is to believe the word of God. Even from that day, do you know what happened to me? I became one heart with God. God was alive inside of me. And I saw him helping me in every difficulty. In 1999, I had a sickness in the heart. But he completely fixed me. In 1987, my stomach was terribly sick. But he made me healthy. Even now I am healthy. And I believe I will live healthy until the Lord returns. And until now we've been talking about, he said, eat my flesh, drink my blood. You have your own thoughts. But just as the body, the food enters your body and keeps your strength. Likewise, the word of Jesus enters you. You say you're a sinner. The words of Jesus say you're righteous. You say I committed sins. But Jesus says your sins are forgiven. You say you're dirty. Jesus says you are righteous. How amazing this is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter what I do, I can never wash away sin. But Jesus at the cross washed away all my sins. And he said, you are righteous, you are holy. From that day on, I said, I am holy. I am righteous. And people would ask me, Pastor, you never sinned? You never lied? I did a lot. Then how could you be righteous? You're a sinner. But, Jesus says, I'm justified. The words of the Bible says, I'm sanctified. Then I'm holy, aren't I? And they believed this truth. From then on, not my heart, but the words of Jesus. The heart of Jesus came to my heart and said that I am righteous and said that I am holy. And therefore, like Jesus, I say, I am holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. Right then, the words of Jesus entered my heart and put in me a new heart different from mine. The words of Jesus said, you are righteous. You are holy. Your sins are cleansed. In my thoughts, it feels like I have sinned. But I threw my thoughts away. And I believed the words of Jesus. From then on, I saw Jesus living and working in me and leading me. And I saw him being with me in all that I did. How amazing this is. We didn't do anything at all. But Jesus at the cross, he forgave our sins. Everyone, may you all believe these words. And I hope you will live a blessed life with Jesus. I'm so thankful to be sharing this with you. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you. The CLF World Conference is online from November 30th to December 3rd. Join over 400,000 pastors around the world. Keynote lectures, youth ministry development, and sermons by Pastor Oksu Park will transform your ministry and help your church grow the faith to overcome all problems. Visit clfusa.org to find out more.